Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and we are moving on with the 12 days of summer scrap lifts from Scrap Squad. Once again, don't forget to check out the Facebook group for all the details. Today is day two and I'm not playing with the days by the way, so it's already been, just to make that clear. But we are on day two. And it is a scrap lift of a Cocoa Vanilla Studio DT layout by Kylie Kingham. And I love this one. It is a hexagon from the left corner, left upper corner to the bottom right corner using the Sunkist collection, I believe, from Cocoa Vanilla Studio. I love this collection, love the colours, love the design. Got one photo here. I am probably going to switch it up and do it this way just because of the photo I am using which you can see is there and of course we are combining the scrap lifts with Paper Issues Summer Olympics scrap lift no scrapbooking Olympics and today I have chosen hockey so hockey the only sport I know that they will stitch you up so you can keep playing break out those needles and put some stitching on your layout faux stitching works as well because of course we know I can't stitch so we are going to switch it up and pop our layout probably either this way or that way one or other so I have got again L studio stitch stamp which we'll put to one side covered myself in ink already how have I done that photo is actually a postcard because I'm never going to get a picture as good as that and it is the tv tower in berlin's alexander platz berlin is one of if not my favorite city in the world and i would live there if i could who knows one day um but i just love this so that is what we are using and i am using adventurous from Paige evans super excited that the box of goodies from Paige has arrived in the uk so we are going to use this paper and this paper. This is going to be our background. This is going to be where we get our hexes from. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 12, 18, 24. So we've got 36 squares. Therefore, we can have 36 hexagons. Probably not going to work as a hexagon. Not the best. Everything else will work. So what we're going to do is, this is a two inch hexagon punch, so you've got to be careful, but it is possible to punch them so that we get all of the hexagons. That first one was always going to be a bit tricky, and can I just say, this is probably my favourite paper from the whole collection. I adore it. So I love this paper because it gives you a little taste of the collection. Because this is, these are rather all papers from Adventurous. Now when I first looked at Adventurous I was like, oh I love it, but mm, would I use it? Because it's a bit florally, a bit pink, a bit travelly, which I love. Um, but I'm glad that I got, Paige had a couple of kits left, so I was like, yep, yeah, go on Paige, give us one. Um... And I'm glad I did because it it's a superb collection. It, it's absolutely amazing. I'm surprised with the chipboard pack, which is just massive. Um, and all the extra little bits, there is just so much in the collection. And um, the card kit's amazing, the project pad's amazing. So yeah really really pleased with it so we're just punching out hexagons till they're all done basically so i'm going to go off and finish that because you don't need to watch me punch hexagons like that that's a bit boring and we've still got quite a few more to do so i'll be back once i have done that so we have our 35 hexagons and it's 35 because I've kept this one as a square. I'll use that in one of the 4x4 albums that I will probably do with this collection. And I love this paper. It's a wordy paper. So we've got the scenic route. Journey together is my favourite place to be. Vacation mode. 
Uh, let's go discover. Uh, thankful for you. Best trip ever. Embrace. Always take the scenic crew. Blah, blah, blah. That sort of thing. So, what I'm thinking is, do we want our photo here or here? And I'm thinking down here. So, we're going to go up like this. So, it's a case of just start layering the, not layering, adhering these down. Now, obviously, I want to be mindful of where I'm putting hexes because some of them will be covered, some of them won't be. So, I think, let me see, do, 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 do. so I'm actually going to start here, just check, we're going to put them this way, this is the way they are on the sketch, so that is the way that I am going to do it, and I'm just going to do two, I think, going up this way, like so, and I want to try and sort of alternate colours, patterns, it's not going to be pop, pop, blah, pop, that's not going to work that way, see, keep in the good and the bad, because it doesn't always work, so we're going to turn these around, which is what I meant to do, and pop them on our page like this and then come in with these ones and I am having a little gap between each hexagon to sort of help let me see okay so with this one I'm gonna cut this one in half just gonna find the middle of the hexagon and then pop half of it here, like so, try and put it a little bit straight, it's not going to be perfect because I've not cut it straight, so we're just going to do that and then, there we go, I'm just going to follow it up basically and um, I will do a couple more, then I will go off camera to finish it because it's very repetitive and I feel like you don't need to really see me do all of this. As I say, not all of this is going to be on show because of course we're going to place our photo. However, I'm not sure where that's going to go yet exactly, so I'm just going to guess really so that's probably as far like across i might put one more here and then our main focus i want it to be a diagonal as per the inspiration so i need to be careful not to i love this paper as well easily distracted papers are amazing in this collection um i want to try and be careful with the patterns that i choose because there are some that i don't particularly like and others that I particularly love which I want to be on display so if our photo is gonna go say here this one's not gonna be on show either so let's put the tulips there so don't mind if some of them so it's gonna go about here so what I'm gonna do is just mark out So that's where our photo is going to be very, very approximately. So now I know that I don't really need to put any here. But what I will do is place these two there so that I can continue on with laying the foundation of the layout. That one's going to go there. I love these stamps and the album in this collection is superb. Just in case you've not seen it, but look at that. Love it. Love it. 
Okay, then I am going to continue this off camera and I will be back once we've finished. I do also have these which I've not got into yet. These are actually from Blooming Wild, so we may use a couple of them for part of our title. So I need to remember them. But I will be back in a moment with them all done. Okay, that is all the hexagons done. I've also just used my Elf's Studio stamp in the two corners here and done a faux stitch for the challenge. Matted the photo, postcard, whatever, a couple of times just on white and blue cardstock. So let's get that idea down first of all. That is going to go about here like so and as you can see we've got our cascade of hexes i've pulled out some chipboard I've pulled out a journaling piece pulled out a couple of letters and then we've got all of the other embellishments here there are others but this is i'm limiting now i've just realized i was going to do hidden journaling forgot about that so that can go back in this pack I do have two packs of the florals because it's a page floral. I always use it all, so there we go. So I was thought it would be kind of cool to use one of these. They are big though. Um, so we'll see if we do that. Let's do this first. I think I'm going to do this. So what I thought is we could have a bit of a title going up here. Explore TV Tower. That was my thinking. Don't know if it's going to work. So this is from the chipboard pack. As I said, these stickers, letters, are from Blooming Wild. I've just not used them yet. Had them forever. But obviously we've not been scrapping here in Scrappy Adam World. So haven't used them, so I thought... I will just put them with this collection. Okay, these fit perfectly. I hope Paige does more products like this because these are such a great idea. Great idea. Okay. Pop that there, let that dry. It is a little bit bendy bendy. But that's okay. So we've got our TV done. And now for our tea. So we just put a bit of glue. It's like back in the cut file, isn't it, really? You could have a product where it is the same principle but shapes. That would be kind of... For those, especially for those that can't actually use cut files, as in, they don't have a machine. Okay, so, there is that. Oh, I'll need the glue again for this. I'm just going to poke out this bit. This is quite... The, the only downside, not downside, but criticism of the packaging is the chipboard packaging was quite flimsy and so some of it had been one of the words had ripped which was quite unfortunate not pages fault at all um i get why they're doing the chipboard as die cuts i guess it, it must be cheaper than the 12 by 12 stickers but yeah just got to be careful that they don't get damaged. So I'm going to put the T in the middle of this hexagon here. And then the V is going to come here. And then I will explore. I'm just going to put glue all along it. should probably do it on camera so that you can actually see I am doing something. So, what new collections do you guys have in your stash? Is there any new collections that you've not yet got, but you've got your eye on? Tell me, tell me, tell me. So, that is going to just sit atop here. Love that. 
There we go. And then just to finish our title, so it is a really, really multi-font colour title. These are one set of the Alphas. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to put Tower here on a little bit of an angle. So we're going to have a T. O. W. And as always, you need at least two packs of these Alphas, if not three. Because you can use them with absolutely anything. And then we need an R. There we go. So we've got Explore TV Tower. And I think I am actually going to add the as well. Why not? So we've got TH and an E. Explore the TV tower. And I like what American Crafts are doing with these stickers now, as in putting the collection name here rather than naming them something else. So we all know where they're coming from. And now it's time for embellishment. So I did like the idea of having this big old chipboard here. So we're going to put that up on foam there. Kind of lost our scrap lift now, but it's definitely inspired this page. I'm thinking this is too big. I thought about this down here, so let's put that down there. So that's going to go here. And then on top of that, I'm going to put two enamel dots. Let's use the turquoisey ones. There we go. Let me just go and back this with a bit of foam. So that is our chipboard on. So that is that cluster done. I'm loving the look of that. I don't want to add too much. Unfortunately, this isn't going to make it. It's just too big. I love it, but not for this layout. Not going to use rub-ons on here, I don't think. But let's just check. No. Now we do have, oh, we have these key cards or whatever you want to call them in sticker form as well. So I'm going to use one here as a sticker. And then alongside that, let's get a little floral in there maybe. and pop that up on a little bit of a foam dot maybe yeah love that so that's going to go there I'm going to also get in a little floral in and amongst our little title cluster so whilst I have gone off piste with the remainder of this layout, it's definitely been inspired by the scrap lift, which is what it's all about. So I am A-OK -okay with that. Now down here, I feel like we do need something. I'm just not sure what. It's probably going to have to be florals. I would imagine. I even like the cat in this collection, which is a bit out there for me because I don't usually do kitty cats, as we know. So I am actually going to... No, don't like that. Let's have a look what else we've got. We've got big clusters, small clusters, singles, all sorts going on. Quite like that, so let's get that one there. I'm going to tuck that in there, like so. I don't think we're going to be adding all that much more, to be honest, which I know is a bit random for me to be saying. But, as 
sometimes less is more, and in this case, I think it is. However, that doesn't mean we're stopping just yet. I'm just trying to keep the top of things here. So we've also got the sticker book. We've got another alpha here, which I love. I've not got the project pad out just because I think we've got enough here because there are stickers in there as well. Go exploring. Let's have, let's have a little banner up here. So that's a little something going on there. And then I think, oh, where do these go? There. I have to say this is probably my favourite page collection. The more I use it, the more I am loving it. And then I've just seen we've got another floral cluster here. So let's see about bringing that in here. All the different textures on this layout, which I love. We've got these puffy stickers as well. I don't think what if I keep exploring. We've got explore up there, so I feel like that is a bit of a repetition that we don't need going on. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Travel often, that works. And maybe one of these little arrows underneath the V. And then to finish us off, let's see if there's any puffies we want to use. I think we can bring in a little floral in and amongst our title just to finish us off nicely. And then finally, 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 just a couple of enamel dots. And I'm going to put a couple up here. And then a couple down here. Probably should have got two packs of these as well. But that's fine. And that is today's layout, day two. I absolutely love that actually, I've got to admit, just zoom in a little bit for you there. So that is day two of the 12 days of summer scrap lifts. This is what we started with, we flipped it and this is what we have ended up with. I love it. And of course the scrapbooking Olympics from Paper Issues. I hope you like this layout as much as I do and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out the Facebook group for all the details and I will see you for day three very soon. Bye for now.